This is a special award for me because in my career of over 50 years directing plays in the theater, some of the most memorable, rich, and rewarding experiences I've ever had were working on Tennessee Williams plays and most particularly working with Tennessee himself. I was running the American Shakespeare Theater Festival in Stratford, Connecticut, and I wanted to honor an American playwright, a living American playwright, by including him in a classical theater season. So I got all dressed up <laughs> and went to uh, where he was living, which was the Hotel Elysee. Now, Tennessee used to call it the Hotel Easy Lay, which was part of Tennessee's sense of humor. And, uh, and I went up, and I went upstairs, and I rang the bell, and the door opened. It was a young man who was Tennessee's companion at the time. And he said, oh, uh, Tennessee will be with you shortly. And then I heard a lot of really wild laughter in the other room, uh, which was Tennessee. And event eventually he came, and it was very, very sweet, and he was very, very kind, and I was very, very nervous. But we talked about the play, and I, I talked about you know myself and what I'd done and, and how much I really worshipped his writing. And then the doorbell rang, and in came a little wrinkled old lady. And they kissed, and she came rather silently in and sat down, and then simply said, menthol, menthol, meaning obviously she wanted a menthol cigarette. It took me about five minutes to realize that I was sitting opposite Tennessee and Rose, his sister, who was in a, a, a home for mentally disabled people. As you know, she had a lobotomy when she was young. And I realized that at this affectionate couple sitting next to each other were the real Tom and Laura from Glass Menagerie. And even now, I'm very moved by the fact that I was there.